Imagine you just graduated from high school. You're ready to get your first summer job and excited to start college in the fall. All your friends are talking about where they'll work, maybe one of the ice cream shops on the main street, or at the summer camp down by the lake just outside of town. And you hear them talk about all the forms they need to fill out. Work permits, financial aid applications, W-9s, and even driver's permits. But you realize that you haven't done any of that. You ask your parents to help you get started with a worker's permit, but they get quiet and look uncomfortable. They say you can't fill those same forms out because you don't have the right documents. They tell you that you're undocumented. Think what it must be like finding out just as you're about to start your life as an adult that you're not a U.S. citizen even though for as long as you can remember, you've lived in America. You got all A's in your social studies classes. You celebrate the 4th of July every summer with your friends, waving American flags as you watch fireworks from your uncle's backyard barbecue. You were born in Mexico, but you've never left the small Midwestern town you grew up in. You're an American, aren't you? Undocumented people who grew up in the US have long held on to the same American dream as anyone else and activists have been fighting for a path to citizenship since the mid to late 90s. Dreamers, as these undocumented activists came to be known, are the foreign-born children of immigrants who were brought into the U.S. when they were young children or infants. Called Dreamers after the 2001 proposed but never enacted federal legislation called the Development, Relief, and Education for Alien Minors Act, or simply the DREAM Act. These individuals are not United States citizens, despite only knowing what it means to live in and identify with America. Throughout the 90s and early 2000s, young people came out of the shadows to march on Washington and lobby elected officials across the U.S. to support the DREAM Act. But opposition was strong and only increased after the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001. The Obama administration tried to provide the bill in 2012, but the DREAM Act has been stalled in Congress for the last 21 years. The cause has been highly politicized, Still, the Dreamers movement has seen progress in the last 30 years with programs like Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA, which was enacted by executive order in 2012 when President Obama's attempts to pass the DREAM Act failed. The DACA program afforded eligible so-called high-performing immigrants protection from deportation and the ability to gain lawful employment, among other limited benefits. DACA was never meant to be a solution. Rather, it was a stopgap measure while Congress drafted meaningful immigration reform still a huge victory for dreamers across the U.S. But 20 years later, no such reforms have gained any ground. And now, the DACA program is at serious risk of being ended due to current federal litigation in the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. Some states have made efforts to protect dreamers through initiatives like the California Dream Act, allowing undocumented students access to state-funded financial aid and other education-based benefits, which was enacted by Assembly Bills 130 and 131 in 2011. And children in K-12 California schools are allowed in-school food assistance without the threat to their or their parents' immigration application efforts. Despite these wins, though, Dreamers continue to face obstacles and an uncertain future regarding their legal status, overall security and well-being, and even their health. As non-citizens, Dreamers and other undocumented people cannot legally be employed, meaning access to employer-sponsored health care is off the table. They can't receive federal financial aid for college either, affecting their ability to pay for and ultimately attend a university. Many young people rely on the food and health services provided by their college, and obtaining basic needs resources like publicly funded healthcare and health initiatives is challenging. Public health benefits are largely out of reach for dreamers. For example, undocumented individuals are ineligible for programs like the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, commonly called food stamps. Even in states friendly to immigrants, such as California, programs like SNAP, known in that state as CalFresh, are out of reach for undocumented immigrants because the funds ultimately come from the federal government. This lack of access to health and nutrition resources, among other related benefits, is incredibly deleterious to the undocumented community. The Dreamers movement, in part, seeks to correct this. But again, the progress is slow going in the face of political opposition and growing anti-immigrant and xenophobic sentiments. While undocumented individuals dream of the day that they can become a U.S. citizen, for many, that dream is shattered when they are ultimately detained and deported. Healthcare services in federal immigration detention centers are abysmal. So much so that on June 13, 2007, the ACLU filed a class action lawsuit 
against several detention centers, including the San Diego Correctional Facility, alleging that immigrant detainees under SDCF's care faced unnecessary suffering, with several avoidable deaths taking place at the facility. When the government does deport immigrants who came to the U.S. as children, they face innumerable hurdles in their countries of origin. Many times a country they've never known, and often to a place with a language the individual doesn't even speak. Deportees in such situations are often less destitute, homeless, and without basic care. And there is little hard data since no U.S. agency or international organization tracks such outcomes. What's worse is U.S. citizens can be negatively affected by deporting DREAMers too. FWD.US, a bipartisan political organization for immigration advocacy, estimates that if the DACA program, that's the Obama-era policy that grants a two-year renewable protection from deportation for DREAMers, were to be ended, more than a thousand jobs would be lost every working day for two straight years. This includes 1,600 DACA recipients who work in healthcare, losing their jobs every month over that same two-year time frame, affecting not only that individual, but all of those individuals and the communities they serve. FWD.US goes on to say that, quote, if DACA renewals were halted, DACA recipients would lose their protection from deportation, putting them at immediate risk. This means an estimated 25,000 U.S. citizen children each month would be living with a parent at risk of being torn from their families and deported to a country they likely don't even remember. Similarly, an estimated 5,000 U.S. citizens have a spouse who would lose deportation protections. This means each day for two years, nearly a thousand immediate U.S. citizen family members will see a loved one at immediate risk of deportation. Undocumented Americans play an integral role in U.S. society, touching everything from the economy and popular culture to policy and public health. The Dreamers movement has seen some successes in its 30-year struggle to fight for citizenship for millions of Dreamers who have only known the U.S. as their home. There's still a long way to go to win over the hearts and minds of many Americans, but the dream lives on in young advocates and their allies.